It received an update today on what will be allowed for indoor and outdoor sports. The Massachusetts Interscholastic Athletic Association put out the new rules that will affect cheerleading, football, figure skating, rugby, track and field, and the capacity of facilities. 12 News reporter Rob Nesbitt talked to a principal about how the rules will change sports during the coming weeks. He joins us now live with a story about how mental health is also a concern for students trying to get one last season in. Rob? Mike, football fields like this one in Seekonk went unused this fall. Well, the season for that sport is rescheduled for two weeks. To start in two weeks, just one of the many sports paying attention to the rules announced today. Sports was one of many things that changed because of COVID. On Monday, the MIAA updated members on how athletics will look in the coming weeks. Competitive cheer and pair figure skating improved categories from high risk sustained contact to being higher risk moderate contact. It does open the door for competitive cheer to possibly take place in the spring. Attleboro High School principal Bill Rooney checked to see what would be allowed for his student athletes. Football and rugby may conduct level one play indoors, but only engage in level two and three activities outdoors. According to the MIAA, level one refers to non contact workouts, aerobic conditioning, individual skill work, and drills. The things that you see where there are going to be some form tackling drills or some, you know, seven on seven things. The, those are going to be limited outside. Indoor track will need to space themselves out according to the updated rules. The MIAA says that races starting and finishing together should be in every other lane when indoors to allow for social distancing. The association's last update pertains to indoor and outdoor facilities, limiting indoor capacity to 40 percent. Spectators are limited indoors and outdoors to two adults and two siblings of the participating player. Basketball games at Attleboro High School have only allowed home fans at games using a pod system, according to Rooney. Assigned pod area, and again, it's only limited to uh, parents, siblings, and um, in our case, grandparents. Rooney's son is currently a senior on Attleboro High School's basketball team. As a parent and principal, he understands how important athletics can be to a student body. Anything that we can do to facilitate better mental health for, or for all of our students, and for our staff is, is very important to us. Rooney has asked all of his coaches to record their practices so that if an athlete tests positive for the coronavirus, he can go back to watch the videos and see who they came in close contact with. Reporting live in Seekonk, I'm Rob Nesbitt, 12 News.